how to approve sign off on student logs. Throughout the course of their placement, your students will log their daily activities. We recommend that you review each of your students' logs weekly, as it can be cumbersome to review too many activities at one time. This guide will show you how to log into IPT and approve student logs. To begin, you will log into IPT. If you have not set up your IPT account, please see the How to Log into IPT guide. Once you log in, click on the My Forms link on the left-hand side of the screen. When you click on My Forms, it will take you to this screen. Click on the View link located to the left of the student log. Once you click on View, you will be taken to the student log. The student will fill out all of the information necessary on this screen, and they will add activities in their log throughout their placement. If your student is having issues with logging their activities, please direct them to the Student Log Instructions for Student Guide. Once your student begins to enter activities, their log will look like this. You will notice that in the Field Instructor or Task Supervisor Signature column, a text box has now appeared. To sign off on a student's activity, you will enter your initials in the text box. To sign off on all available activities, you can scroll to the last activity that needs a signature. You will then sign in the box that looks like this one. Signing the last activity for the week will autofill all empty signature boxes in the log so that you only have to sign once for the entire week. Once you begin to sign off on a student's listed activities or autofill the signatures by signing off on the last activity of the week, the student log will begin to look like this. This is from the bottom of the log. As with any document, you will need to save your progress. If you close without saving, you will lose your work. Once you have finished signing off on activities for the week, you will need to click the Save button. You will also see an area that asks for a signature, outlined in red. Do not sign the student log until the end of the semester. If you, your student, or the faculty liaison signs the log, your student will lock and you will not be able to enter in further information. If anyone signs the log, you will have to contact the field office so that we can clear the signature. Signing the log may cause delays in your ability to log your activities as we must do this individually and on a case-by-case -case basis. Sign the log only when the field placement is complete and no more logging will take place. Congratulations, you can now view and approve student log activity.